What's going on everyone, it's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to be doing a tutorial for customer service. This is for your Shopify store so you can make sure that your customers are having a great experience when dealing with your online brand. This should overall hopefully help with increased sales and increased profitability as customers are going to choose your brand and your company over competitors as they know the <coughs> customer experience is going to be excellent. And so in today's video we're going to go over some tips for beginners and tips for advanced Shopify store so you can get a really good understanding of how you should be setting up your customer service. So make sure you stay to the end of the video to get a complete overview. Before I dive into it, I just want to talk about our sponsor ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator app for your Shopify store that's available via the Shopify app store. And so it's a free 15-day trial so you can test drive all the features for yourself. It's going to allow you to understand your business in real time. Now I'm going to show a quick video detailing all the features of ProfitCalc. So now let's get started on the first beginner tip here and it's going to be get a professional email and so if you don't have one yet you don't want to be using your at gmail.com you want to have the domain name of your site maybe your domain name is shopify masterclass and you want to set the com there you want to make sure you're getting the domain name version and it can be support it can be admin anything along those lines it could even be customer service a lot of companies just use CS as a short form, but you really want to make sure you're having that professional look. Having a Gmail is considered very amateur for a lot of customers there. A lot of spam comes from different Gmail accounts that they're not used to, so make sure you get a professional email there. So overall, a super easy one to start with. The second one is going to be to be responsive. Customers don't want to wait two to three days for a response. Most big online companies have live chat, which is something you're not going to be able to do most likely for your Shopify store, especially if you're a solo founder. So the way you get around that is to be responsive. What I always did is I had an automated email go out after the first message to say, hey, we'll get back to you in 24, maybe it's 48 hours. Oftentimes it's shorter than that, just to give the customer an expectation. And then you want to make sure you're responding as soon as you can. So make sure you're on a schedule. Maybe you're checking your email in the morning, in the middle of the day, at nighttime. Maybe you're doing all three. To make sure you're addressing those customer queries. A lot of times, it's people just asking for their tracking number or how the shipping update is going. But it could be customers that are thinking about purchasing from your brand. Maybe they have a question about the product, such as the sizing or the coloring or the shipping times. And once they get that question answered, they're going to be likely to purchase. So being responsive is just going to show them that you're going to be there and it makes them feel better about the company and their purchase, which is going to lead to less returns and hopefully less credit card chargebacks, which can be really bad for your payment processing. The next tip we're going to look at here under the beginner tips is to be generous. You don't want to be stingy with your customers here. Oftentimes it's just easier to give a refund or a discount if there is something wrong. Maybe there's a delay in shipping. You don't want to blame your customers. And being generous also has the added ability of encouraging them to come back as they know that you're going to fix any mistakes. If you go to someone like Amazon, although they are much bigger, they are typically very generous with their return policy and refund policy as long as you complain enough there as they want to make sure you're coming back to purchase more. The next tip is going to be have a template. So you want a template on how you're answering customer messages. Maybe it's hi customer name, then you have Jamie here from company X and you have a standard signature and a goodbye thing. Maybe it's let me know if this makes sense and if you need any more help. This is just going to speed up the process. You can copy and paste it. You can save it in your email there. But overall, it's going to be very similar. Maybe you have a template for tracking information. You say, this is your tracking number. All you have to do is insert the tracking number and it's going to have the rest of the information. As many queries are going to be repeated, you want to make sure you're getting through them as fast as possible, which allows you to be as responsive as possible. So now let's move on to some advanced tips. So the first advanced team here is going to be to hire a team. This doesn't necessarily have to be a full-time team either. You can use virtual assistants. You can go to Fiverr more, more preferably something like Upwork. We can pay on an hourly basis on a short to long-term contract. And you're going to pay them for doing queries. So you're going to send them templates of how to respond to customers. And that's going to allow you to be online much more. And overall can be quite affordable as well. I've seen rates below 7 USD, below 6 USD. It just depends on the language barrier, 
for the person you're hiring as well. You want to make sure they have good English, but eventually you can scale that up quite heavily. So if you're hiring VAs, maybe you have quite a few customer service ones. You have a manager that manages them and you simply manage the manager. Overall, it can get pretty complex in that sense, but it allows you to scale so much more than just you answering customer service messages all the time. Especially if you're trying to grow your store here, you don't really want to spend too much time on customer service as that's time you could be spent doing other things like creating effective marketing material or sourcing new products, focusing on things that you can't outsource to anyone else. Your time is the most valuable thing, so you wanna make sure you're utilizing it effectively. So the second advanced tip here is gonna be get a chat platform. So rather than just using a standard email, you wanna use a platform such as Help Scout or Fresh Desk or something like that. So for example, if you go to Help Scout here, it's gonna be a chat widget in the bottom right. There's gonna be an FAQ section. There's gonna be an FAQ section linked with an ask section so where they can send you a message. And quite a few brands use this and allows for things like a shared inbox, live chat, in-app messaging, and a knowledge base, which will help cut down on your customer service by quite a bit as customers can get an answer right away. And in terms of shared inbox too, if you're hiring several people, to do your customer service, it's going to be much easier for them to manage support tickets. So that leads us into our last advanced tip here, and that's going to be using live chat. So essentially paying someone to be online at all times, immediately answer those customer queries. This can be especially useful if a customer is looking at the product and they're ready to buy right now, but they have one little question that they need answered and they can ask that through live chat and that's going to solve their issue and they can purchase the product. Overall, a more expensive option than something asynchronous like email, but some customers quite like live chat as long as you can have reasonable response times. Quite a few companies use a chat bot as well to help gate it so they can possibly answer the question first and then if they need help, they can go to someone who can chat with them. But overall, there's a mix of options depending on what you want to do and your availability. So overall, that's a wrap here. This concludes the video on the Shopify tutorial for customer service. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would love if you hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And lastly, I want to mention ProfitCalc again, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. And there's a link in the description to access a free 15-day trial. You can test drive everything for yourself. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.